Hey everyone, welcome back to 996 A How, episode 31 for the uninitiated. This is an unedited YouTube vlog discussing everything Arizona Coyotes. And it's just another one of those Sundays before the trade deadline. You look at your phone, you get a notification that Coyotes have traded a player you cared about. I mean, I think two years ago it was Yandel. Last year, Bodker. Bodker was playing his way out, but still, it was a sting. And now, yesterday, it was Martin Hansel along with Ryan White. Let's not forget White is a part of that deal. He's going to be great for Minnesota. He's probably going to be more noticeable than Martin Hansel for Wild fans. So um, I'm going to be cheering for Minnesota the rest of the way. And in the playoffs, Martin Hansel's wearing number 19 as an homage to his good friend Shane Doan. Hopefully they bring a cup. I know Minnesota is playing really well, top of their division. They'll pro probably face a wild card team or maybe a third place in the central, with, which might be Nashville or St. Louis, both pretty weak teams that uh, Minnesota can beat. They don't face Chicago the first round, so that's great for them as they have trouble with Chicago in the past. But let's get to the games. Coyotes, you know, they're falling off the tracks a bit. Tough game against San Jose about two weeks ago. It's been a long time since I made a video, but they lost against San Jose 4-1. They played uh, very poor that game, and the string, the narrative string throughout their past five, six games is that their breakouts aren't be, aren't crisp. They're not uh, hitting the wingers and centermen with speed like they used to be in early February, late January. They're looking like how they played in December and early January. I mean, they're fumbling the puck in the neutral zone. They're not finding... The players open quickly. They're second-guessing themselves. They're throwing the puck down the ice like the old Coyotes' ways. So that's why they've been kind of on this losing streak. They had an abysmal game against Chicago, which obviously Chicago just always dominates the Coyotes. Kane's going a hat-trick. Chicago playing up six goals. Then they lost to Dallas, which was a tough one to swallow. 2-2 going into the third period, and then Dallas just... Kept pouring it on. So much talent on that Dallas team. It makes you wonder how they're even third last in the West. But there they are. The Coyotes couldn't match their talent. And they got buried 5-2. Domingue didn't have a great game against Dallas. But Tippett puts them back in against Buffalo. And Domingue played well against Buffalo. He held the team in. He let the team have a chance to come back. And thankfully, 12 minutes left in the third. The Coyotes scored three goals. And they beat Buffalo. They had no business winning that game. Everyone just seemed so deflated and defeated that game. After just two hours before puck drop, they learned that their number one centers traded. Their energy guy, their dressing room guy got traded. So, I mean, even Shane Doan in the first period into mission, his interview, he, you can tell he wanted to say some things about management, but stopped himself before he could say anything. I feel for Doan, it's frustrating. I mean, I really wanted Hansel to stay. Just, they should have talked to him about his contract earlier in the season and just made him stay in Arizona. They needed that, that stabilization down the middle. And now shipping out Hansel, they're back to square one. They need a number one centerman. Strom, Keller, Dvorak next year. Is that going to work? Are they going to make a free agent play in the summer? Will Marty Hansel come back? I mean... If he pulls a Vermette, that'd be awesome. And we could play Hansel third line center, give Stroman Dvorak first and second line minutes, give Hansel a Patrick Berglund contract, and there you go. That would be that would be great to see. Almost like a pipe dream. We'll see if that happens. Feel sorry for Verbata as well, his best friend, his line mate for years. Hansel gets traded, Verbata. You know, he gets two points last night. The game winner with 18 seconds left. He's got 11 points in nine games, four goals in four straight games. Holds a record for the longest point streak in the NHL right now. Just what a signing by Sheka Verbata. I think he's got 44, 45 points. 
I mean, this guy's going to go for a first round pick at the trade deadline if Chaika decides to trade him. But uh, I think Verbata should resign with the Coyotes next year. I mean, he's had all his success, his success with the Coyotes. He's playing amazing. You could really depend on him to score and shoot the puck. Him and Domi have good chemistry. Domi getting two points last night, scoring a goal, which he hasn't done in a while. So, yeah, there's a lot of air of uncertainty surrounding the Coyotes. They got to make some call-ups. Kanaden was playing fourth wing winger instead of defense last night. So they got to call up someone from Tucson. Looking at Fisher, Dolphin, Bermishoff's injured. So if he can't make the road trip, Dolphin for sure getting called up. And uh, playing the center position. Tippett's got to play. D'Angelo on the power play. Cowdy's power play 1 for 21. About 4.5% over the last string of games. Their power play really is struggling. They're getting so many opportunities on the power play that they could bury games. Or start to put up goals and they just fail at it. And that's an area of the game they got to improve on. They're getting these chances and they're not taking advantage of it. And that's poor. Tippett puts Chikrin on defense instead of D'Angelo, which it's questionable to me. D'Angelo's a purely offensive defenseman. And the power play, that's his bread and butter. You just got to put him on for that situation. Don't know why Chikrin's there, but you know I'm sure Tippett will, will understand and make the right move. Also want to say farewell to Michael Stone, leaving the Coyotes a week and a half ago to Calgary. I would have liked a second round pick for him, but honestly, he's got like nine points this season. Worst position, worst possession numbers in the league. I mean, take what you can get. We're playing, we're paying him four mil. Just we had a lot of defense coming out from Tucson, so I think Mark Michael Stone leaving. It's a it's an easy hole to fill, as opposed to hands on White. Hopefully, the Coyotes could rebound after this Hansel trade and. Uh, Play some competitive hockey down the stretch. If they lose a couple more guys like Verbata, Doan, even Duclair, I mean, it's going to be tough to watch some Coyote games in the last month of the season. So we'll see. I'll make a video after, tr after the trade deadline. Hopefully it's not as depressing as how I feel now with Hansel. I mean, I I'm happy to watch the Minnesota Wild games, you know. This is going to be one of the first times I actually watch other team games. Because now like, I actually care about Hansel. And I want him to win a cup. They got Dubnik in net. You know, Wild is a team you, you don't really hate. They're just there. So uh, I'll be interested to watch some Minnesota games when I can. And I'll report back on how Hansel's performing. Hope he doesn't get injured for the playoffs. So that's it for me. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your support.